Hey guys, FJ Cuts here and I'm back again with another perm tutorial guys And guys, I didn't get to record the first bit, I thought it was recording but it wasn't So apologies for that But yeah, so I've already, as you can see, I've already um, done the sections And now I've already made the first section which is about a, a one centimeter apart of each rod So this is the first This is the first section I'm doing And now I'm just wrapping the MP paper around the first section and I pulled it, to, you don't even need to pull it to the end because the end paper was longer than the hair so it was fine and what I did is I sprayed water in it so the hair stays on the end paper that's what the end paper is for guys keeps all the hair together when you're putting it on the rod so it just doesn't come out now you just want to clip it onto the rod by just twisting it slowly but making sure the end of the end paper is wrapped around until it's tight that's how you're going to get these tight curls guys and make sure everything's tight and then clip it on the opposite side of where you rolled it all right cool guys so as you continue down make sure you want to make the separation of each rod exactly the same because you don't want different sizes allowing different um type of curls to come out at the end so by keeping the the like the sections like neatly and um similar to each other they will have the same outcome at the end because you don't want them to you know one loose one curly so just keep it consistent guys down the rows and you want to keep doing the same thing make sure you clip it so it gets tight in the rod and yeah use your comb to um, separate or use duck clips if you don't if you don't want to use a comb Okay, so after you've done the first section because guys I usually like to go from left to right you want to take out the duct clips that's holding the other side down and then you want to wet the hair first guys so you, you get easy parting to make the, that, the next section by using the comb guys I usually, usually comb it down then I make the same section so I'll try to make the similar section guys I can't stress this enough you want to keep the sections the same guys because like keeping it the same remember will keep the curls the same so by having the same amount of section hair on each rod we'll keep it the same just keep that in mind guys and yeah so by using a comb I'm just separate it and I'm gonna use the duck clips again to hold the hair that's not gonna get um for now I see how um the rods after the second section are just sitting in between of each other that's the main aim of this section where I go from left to right that's why they don't go on top of each other and making the rods look neater and then it will give enough space for each rod to sit on so that's why I go left to right and then I do it in between each rod so it fits like a let's say like a puzzle so guys after repeating the same um, procedure your rod should look like this or something similar to this see how like i said it look like a puzzle that's how you want it neat and tidy all right cool guys so now i've put in the, um, the bandana around him and i put a towel around his head as well so the solution doesn't get down and now with the perm solution which you can buy online in my website down below guys so the link will be in the description down below make sure you go check that out so because you guys always ask where do you get the perm solution from it can be bought from the website for 15 pound and yeah so right now guys i'm just saturating each rod making sure all the hairs is saturated guys you can't i can't stress this enough make sure each rod of hair is saturated if one isn't saturated the <laughs> the curls won't stay in guys and will come out loose so make sure you do saturate each rod all right guys so now i'm just wrapping the the hair with the head wrap that comes with the perm kit and guys you want to leave this solution in for an hour and a half all right guys an hour and a half if you want the same results leave it for an hour and a half all 
after an hour and a half guys make sure you um, let water run through the hair so you're just washing it making sure you don't smell the solution anymore so after an hour and a half wash it alright cool after the um, after you wash it guys make sure you let it dry a bit and now you want to add the perm neutralizer guys so um, now I'm just saturating each rod again making sure everything is saturated with the perm neutralizer it comes with the perm kit guys the link is down below you can just go into the website and go into the shop and you'll be able to buy it I do international shipping as well and UK shipping so make sure you go buy it and then guys you want to leave this solution in for 45 minutes you want to leave the perm neutralizer in for 45 minutes guys after the 45 minutes now you want to wash it again now this time guys make sure you run it with water again making sure you don't smell the perm solution anymore all right cool guys so after you've washed it now it's ready for the unrodding <laughs> all right i left it for a bit guys to let it air dry because you don't really want to use heat to dry the hair because right now it's just relaxing and yeah i'm just taking off the rods as you can see and guys i can explain a little bit about the perm as well so you can't wash it for two days guys all right two days you don't want to wash your hair and you, you don't want to try sleep on the hair as well so when you sleep just put a pillow around your neck because you don't want the hair or the curls to get messy because you see how you can't wash it for two days you don't want to mess up the hair because you won't be able to style it like that as much because you can't put water and you don't want to use shampoo for at least two weeks after the perm because you want to let the hair um, relax through past experiences shampoo does make the hair loose for me so I just use conditioner and any conditioner is fine and any shampoo is fine it's just that the cream guys you should get the Cantu or the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus I'll put it down in the description down below and those two are like the best creams to use for curls or perm, curl, perm hair as well so yeah guys and also if you want to book for a perm with me or a haircut with me I have the link down below for the website and I have a booking system there as well so yeah but if you can't travel to me or you don't want to come to me you can buy yourself the perm kit or the perm rubs on the website and yeah Right, so this is the finished product guys and yeah i hope you guys like this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and guys we just hit 30k i'm very thankful for that and yeah guys i have so new videos coming up for you guys but i just have been so busy with um family and um school because i go uni now guys and yeah guys make sure you follow all my socials it will be in the bottom left if you have any questions comment down below and yeah, more videos to come guys, peace out.